reset. So we are starting a new weekly, and we're gonna try to keep it up, weekly video log of imposter foods. Imposter food. So what does that mean? So I'm sure you have been duped many times without actually knowing when you go to the store and you are walking the aisles and all of a sudden you see this wonderful, healthy food, such as one is called a cauliflower crisp snack. Everyone knows cauliflower is considered it's one of the magic foods. Magic foods. Listen, there's nothing wrong with cauliflower. We love cauliflower, right? I love cauliflower. I cook with cauliflower and I, you can literally make anything out of it, including these wonderful imposter crisps. foods, <laughs> in, in, including this imposter food. However, the only reason what we wanted to bring forth about this one in particular, actually, we got this at Trader Joe's. There's nothing wrong with Trader Joe's. We love Trader Joe's. We buy so much stuff from there. Uh, like, honestly one of the best foods however with this particular snack and I just want to show everyone cauliflower crisps someone who does not understand nutrition and someone who thinks that cauliflower anything made with cauliflower is considered to be healthy does not look at the back panel as you can see and I'm gonna just show you a few little things for you guys to actually take note of as you can see it tells you your serving size right here is 12 crisps so I want you to understand, look at the thin little slice of crisps. I won't open this, but you, just for you to understand that only 12, you can eat 12 and you're gonna eat 180 calories, okay? So just to give you a perspective and you're gonna say, oh, well, how does that relate to anything, right? How does that relate to anything? Well, let me tell you something. The reason you probably bought this is because you're like, I can't eat my chips. Okay. Oh my God, we love potato chips. Who doesn't love potato chips? Look at this. Lay's potato chips, right? Let me show you something. Back of the package. If you are serving size, you're gonna look at your serving size, it tells you about 15 chips. If you actually weigh it out and you have a scale, it's 28 grams, it is less calories, 160 calories. What does that mean for you? Guess what? If you actually probably ate 160 calories, about 15 chips of this, you would be more satisfied and you would not have to eat this. And then what happens after you eat this? You want some other food, right? You're gonna eat potato chips anyway. That's right. So you <laughs> eat this and then you're like, screw this, I want this. So guess what? Get educated and understand that just because it says cauliflower does not mean it is healthy. So this is called an imposter food. That's right. <laughs> so however, listen, if you actually like this and you wanna eat it, nothing wrong with it. But majority of the people who typically would buy this associate that this is a bad food and this is a good food. There's no such thing as bad or good foods. It's only, it's, there's it's only such thing as food. education. Yes, it's food and education, understanding. <laughs> right. So here we go, that's one down. Number two. Wraps, um, lactose free, gluten free, everything free. Basically you just can eat it nonstop, right? Everything is yeah. free. Free, so, free, free. That's so this the is word. made out of cheese, so they're considered cheese wraps, right? And so, of course, with this wonderful big packaging where it says lactose-free, gluten-free, 13 grams of protein, one carb. Carb is, you know, considered your enemy. So let's let's dis di let's dissect this, right? So if you actually turn back, and we're looking at the nutrition label, what is it? One. 180, 180 calories, 100, 10 grams of fat. 10 grams of fat. 13 grams of fat, actually and 13 grams of protein. However, if you actually look at the size of this wonderful little wrap, it's not so big. And then we got whole wheat tortilla. So, Same size. Right. Pretty much, almost. Hold on, almost. Let's, okay, maybe, maybe the cheese is a tad bit bigger, just a tad bit. However, just to give you a perspective, if you are thinking that carbs is the enemy in a sense right and carbs for some reason is this horrific macronutrient that makes you fat <laughs> you would buy this because this has one gram of carbs but guess what calories 45 calories only in you one can, in one and how much fiber i think it's eight grams six grams six grams, six grams of fiber so with this in particular yes you're not getting as much protein but guess what on this, you would be still piling on your meat of some sort of meat, Absolutely. typically. Absolutely. Right? Like it shows in it, it's beautiful picture. Wrap. Absolutely. So beautiful wrap and you're putting your meat. You can do the same exact thing for literally, I would say, a third of the calories. Third of you, the calories. If you take two tortillas and you actually put cheese on it, 
as we were just discussing. If you take two tortillas, put one slice of cheese, a slice of cheese, depending on the thickness of the cheese, is going to vary from 35 to 80, 80 calories. calories, right? Let's say we go on the big end, 80 calories, plus 45 is what? 120, 125. 125. So you can eat your cheese that you actually enjoy on a tortilla that you're probably going to like, right? And you're going to be able to eat less calories, feel probably more satiated than buying something like this. So And thinking that you can eat a lot of this, that this is free, but it's really not. It is not. There's no such thing as free foods. It does not exist. Even vegetables have calories. However, we would prefer, of course, to eat more on vegetables. And I guarantee you, you cannot, in a sense, overfeed yourself on some vegetables, right? Like you yes. can overfeed yourself with cheese wraps. Made from all natural cheese. That's Doesn't right. Doesn't really matter. No. But anyway, so this is episode one of Faux Foods. <laughs> Fake foods. Fake foods. Imposter foods. Imposter foods. All those beautiful names that have nothing to do with food quality. Exactly. So guess what, guys? If you actually like what we just talked about and you want to actually see more, please hit the little heart, love, and uh, we'll be back again with more Imposter Foods. Thank you.